everyone, Amanda here from scrimpymommy.co.uk and after my um, recent video about measurements and helping with measurements I've had quite a lot of people contact me and it seems that a lot of people do struggle and one particular lady contacted me, her name was Fiona, is Fiona and she lives in Australia and she struggles with the envelope punch board when it comes to making boxes so I looked into it because I've always made them a certain way and I've never had any problems now, what I did was I had a good look and I had a play and I think I know why some people struggle making boxes with the envelope punch board. Okay, so here's the scenario. All of the sizes on here uh, demand square sheets to create with. So you, you whatever, you know, you're using a square piece of um, cardstock or DSP. So you're looking for your sizes. Not all sizes are covered there. For example, if I want to make a box for these, I, I would like it to bear three and a quarter by three and a quarter by one. Okay, we don't have three and a quarter by three and a quarter on here. Um, it's not one of the options. At least I don't think so. I'll just double check so I don't look stupid. No, it's not. So I'm going to have to go for the nearest option, which is actually three and a half by three and a half, which is here. Okay, if I just zoom in, it's there. Okay, three and a half by three and a half, which then tells us we need six by six paper, which we score at three. Now that's to make a flat envelope. So, in theory, okay, if I want my box to be that size, but not an envelope, a box with a one inch depth, one would assume that one would add, simply add one inch onto the size of the paper and cut it at seven by seven. And punch and score at three inch and then punch and score at four however it doesn't work if you do that and i think this is where some people are going wrong for some reason it is not that simple okay let me zoom out now i've worked out that in actual fact for every inch of depth that you need you need to have an extra one and three eighths of an inch okay so for every inch you need to add one and three eighths of an inch. So the paper for a three and a half by three and a half box we would cut at seven and three eighths by seven and three eighths. Okay? And then when we come to punch and score, we would punch and score at three as it says here, and then we'd move it along and we punch it score at four and three eighths. Okay, so it's one and three eighths of an inch for every inch you need. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate that really quickly now, just to prove my point. <laughs> and now I do, I'm not clever enough to understand why that is the case. And I'll explain how I do, actually do do my boxes in a minute. So I've got a piece of card here. So I need it to be seven and three eighths. One, two, three, by seven and three eighths, I've worked out. And this is from a process of elimination uh, uh, and wasting some bits of copy of paper, etc, etc, to try and understand why some people are going wrong. So basically I've had to try and do it wrong to see why other people are doing it wrong. So I've got 7 and 1 eighths by 7 and 1 eighths. So what I'm going to do now, no, 3 eighths, I beg your pardon, 7 and 3 eighths. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to punch at the 3 as if I was doing an envelope. Okay, and then one would assume you just add an inch on, but if you just add an inch on and go to four, you will find if you punch and score, if I just gently score there, that is not one inch. It is actually three quarters of an inch. Okay, it's not a full inch. Don't ask me why, I don't know, I'm just telling you how it is. So instead of punching at four, we want to punch at four and three eighths. And then score. Okay, so if I just mark there and there. That now gives us a full inch, okay? And that I think this is where some people go wrong if they're trying to make boxes themselves using the envelope punch board. Right, so you do that and then what you do is you have to rotate and put this where you've just punched to the bottom fuller, 
okay it's not the same as going around like doing an envelope if we were doing an envelope we would just do the one turn and follow the scar lines we don't you don't do that with boxes so that's where we've just been so that now goes to the bottom and we punch at three and then four and one eight uh, three eighths four and three eighths so remember it's one and three eighths for every inch extra you want okay to change it from an envelope to a box then from this process we can just turn it which which some people turn it that way so I for some reason turn it that way you then follow along the scar lines you've just done with your pointer punch and scar move along to the next line and then turn it around and keep going until you've done all of them Okay, so you're following the existing lines now, just the same as when you're making an envelope. Okay, and then that gives you the correct box shape, or it's going to get you as near as, as it can get to, because at the end of the day, it's not a, you know, scientific precision tool, it's not, you're not going to get an exact measurement if you want an exact measurement unfortunately you will have to make your boxes from total and utter scratch with your own measurements okay just trim that and trim that and then you will see that that now fits my three by uh, well the three and a quarter by three and a quarter ruffler it's a little bit big there's a little bit of a gap that i'm not 100 percent happy with but it's not a precise thing for boxes not using these measurements okay i'm going to show you another way of doing it in a minute and then you obviously construct it like so okay let me add those let me add those let me add that super simple and then you either glue it shut you make a belly band you tie it with ribbon whatever you want to do you know you've seen it done uh, probably a million times i'm just explaining why some people could be finding that their measurements aren't working out with the envelope punch board okay bearing in mind we are limited the amount of measurements on here are limited so you go for the nearest size that you can and you make do or i will tell you how i make mine and it is easy <laughs> and it is slightly more precise okay and i'm just going to bring my laptop over now i use oh it's is it going to be glare I do, and I will leave a link on my blog. I've left links be below before, and I've said before, this is how I make my um, envelope, uh, my boxes on the envelope punch board, and I use the Crafty Owl, the Crafty Owl Box Buster, and I discovered this long before being a Stamping Up demonstrator, and it's more accurate, because you can, and, and the, it's glary, so it's not going to show, but you've got um, categories here to add in the box depth, the width and the height now on here the height is this measurement okay and then the width is there and the depth is there okay so that is the height of your box okay so when you're typing in that's your height that's your width and that's your depth okay and then you so you type those in you can convert it to centimeters or inches and you add the full number there and then there's a drop down thing at the side here if it's you know like you'd put the three in there and then the half in there if it was three and a half for example and then you scroll down and you have here you probably can't see because of the glare but you can have it in millimeters or inches you click which one and then you press press calculate and it tells you the paper size you need it tells you where to do your first punch and it tells you where to do your second punch if you want it to be really really accurate i would use this side <laughs> to be honest it's the easiest way of doing it and then she has got a diagram here to explain that you do your first 
punch, then your second punch, then you turn your paper completely top to bottom and you punch the two um, punches again and then you go around and you follow the score lines the same as when you're making an envelope. I just wanted to come and clarify that and hopefully that will help Fiona who did contact me about getting accurate uh, boxes from the envelope punch board. Just use Crafty Owl, it's easier. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. I will be bringing some tutorials um, later on next week with some more boxes that you can create yourself and not using the envelope punch board. We're going to do it the old fashioned way. All right then, bye for now.